I feel a little bit disingenuous saying like, well, I wanted to write a book because, because I felt like the whole time that I was debating doing it and, and writing it, um, I was like, this is a terrible idea. What am I doing? I'm not an author. But I wanted to do it because I feel like I give a lot of interviews and there's a lot of people who've written about me and, you know, since they are the writer, they get to frame it however they want. And I, I wanted something to exist for people who were interested to read, you know, my stories, you know, through the lens of my stupid brain. The title of the book was inspired by a conversation that I had while I was writing the book with my brother where I was going through old photos and like the handful of journal entries that I have from the time that I moved to LA to pursue filmmaking. And sometimes when I look back on that and I was 17 years old, sometimes I wonder like, am I the same person now? And you know, if I had waited until I was you know, my age now to do that, I don't think that I would have necessarily had the balls to do it. So uh, I was talking to my brother about that and saying like, I kind of miss being this scrappy little nobody. And he was like, dude, you're still scrappy. You just get more emails now. Like at the end of the day, it's about how I don't feel any different. I still feel like, you know, 17 and terrified and not sure what I'm doing. So it's just about how that feeling maybe doesn't go away. You know, I really have fun on Twitter and I like that format, but there are many times that I think, if only I had a couple of paragraphs instead of um, 140 characters. So I really enjoyed putting my thoughts on paper and sometimes going, I am not gonna ever show that to anyone. <laughs>